I want to speak on the non-FBA Africans that refer to the so-called black Americans as lazy. This is the same type of white races mindset that we heard coming up back in the 60s. Black people were looked at as lazy. Welfare recipients are shiftless don't have any type of ambition or motivation to do anything. Just sit around all day on the porch, eating fried chicken, watermelon, waiting on the welfare check. Well, if you look closely and not even really that close into the history of America, you're talking about a people that was forced into Captivity. How can you be motivated being forced into captivity? Having to deal with fear. Watching your children being whipped and lynched. Fed to alligators. Being ripped apart. Working from sunup and sundown in the most extreme hot temperatures in the field, living in inhumane living quarters, but yet you expect those slaves or those Africans to be motivated. You expect them to go to bed early at night and can't wait to rise up in the morning to go to work. They're excited about being lynched. They're excited about being whipped. They're excited about their ba- ba- babies being fed to gators. They're excited about being raped. And you expect them to be excited. You expect them to be motivated. But instead, although the so-called black Americans, their ancestors, built this country, you still look at them as shiftless and lazy. Now, since during this pandemic, I noticed that there are so many other races of people, white people that have quit their jobs. They quit their jobs because unemployment was offering more money than they were being paid in their jobs. So they quit. They'd rather sit around all day and collect an unemployment check. And you have so many whites that are now collecting welfare checks. The same things that they accuse the so-called black Americans of doing. So why should they work? Why should they be motivated when the government gives them everything for free? You're out there slaving, working past 40 hours a week, and then you look at your paycheck and the taxes that's being taken out of your paycheck to fund those people that are, as you refer to, as shiftless and lazy. You mean to tell me you don't feel some kind of way? So it's not only black people that chose to sit home and collect an unemployment check or a welfare check because it's free. They are being incentivized for being lazy, for not wanting to work. But if we look back into history, how can you be motivated in those extreme conditions? I challenge any one of those Africans I challenge any of those whites or even Latino or Mexicans that are quick to look at black Americans as lazy and shiftless. I challenge you to go through that for a month, better yet, a year. And tell me if you can even survive. Look at what black Americans went through and yet they still survived. They still survived in spite of what they went through. See, so it had gotten to the point where I've seen movies where blacks were being whipped and they were just taking it. 
because they become so used to it. It becomes everyday lifestyle for them. So if I was forced into that type of labor, of course, I'd also be shiftless and lazy because I don't want to do it. How many of you really want to be enslaved or in captivity? You mean to tell me you would do it joyfully? And the songs that the slaves were singing were songs to keep them motivated. Those were songs being sung out of pain, which they now call old Negro spirituals. These were songs that were made to keep them motivated because of what they had to deal with, because of the pain that they had to endure. And this is not even counting the fact that they were stripped of their language. The same thing we see happening now with children and how they're forcing the LGBT community upon children while they're young, their young minds. Rainbows are being plastered all over the place. They're making it appear to be young, so these young kids that grow up are going to grow up thinking that's the norm. Just like at one time they believed in and still do the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. So now the children are being trained to believe that whatever they tell them in this day and time is normal. Well, that's what happened to the so-called ancestors of the black Americans, and it's from generation to generation. These are people that had dogs sicked on them. They're unarmed. They're not even a threat, but they had dogs sicked on them. They, they were sprayed down with water holes. Their homes were burnt down. There were crosses burnt in front of their homes. Their children were being hung by the neck by the clans. And you expect these same people to be motivated and excited about being in captivity? You talk like a fool. And on top of that, they weren't getting any pay. And when you see so-called black Americans now not wanting to work, well, I wouldn't want to work either if they're paying me minimum wage or less than what minimum wage is supposed to be. They expect you to put in 40 hours of hard labor and yet you don't make enough to pay your bills. You're supposed to be motivated by that. You're supposed to get out there and give it your all just to get nothing or less and still be in debt. And then you have the nerve to frown on when black Americans speak on reparations. That's something that's that's old. For the pain that was caused throughout generations, even until this very day, because what we see now today in the so-called black Americans are a result of what happened yesterday. Today. The results of what happened yesterday, today, we are now witnessing it. This is the results of it. Even when so-called black Americans call themselves black. Where do you know of a land that's called black? What nationality do you know that's called black? That means that person is absent of knowledge of who they are. That's not even a real person. And you have the audacity to say that so-called black Americans are lazy. In my honest opinion, number one, there's lazy people in every race of pe beings. Let's get that out of the way. There's, there's, there's lazy white people. There's, there's lazy Mexicans. There's lazy Arabs. There's lazy people across the board. But as a whole, the so-called black Americans are not lazy at all. They're not. As a matter of fact, they're pretty smart. Because if the government is willing to, to, to feed them, to take care of them, and the only thing the government expects from them is for you to vote Democrat, that's where black Americans fall short. Is that you keep voting for the same people that enslaved you. And that's still enslaving the minds of your children. These are the same people that enslaved you back in time. They put you in chains. And Joe Biden told you that they're going to put you back in chains. That's what he told you. 
So I'm going to put a movie, put a link to a movie on the bottom that I watched. Goodbye, Uncle Tom. And that has like a real depiction of what happened back in time. And you watch that movie and you tell me if the so-called black Americans aren't worth reparations today. And I really don't know why there's not an uproar where blacks and whites are rising up to make that happen. Because if Biden can give money to illegal immigrants, if he can give money to everyone, the LGBT community, uh, illegal immigrants, and uh, what's stopping him from giving the so-called black American reparations? What's stopping that? And you have so many whites and blacks that's in opposition against that. But that's not what this topic is about. It's about the fact that you have Africans coming here, not FBA, referring to black Americans as lazy. Without having to walk in the shoes of the so-called black Americans. You walk in their shoes and you tell me if you can be excited and motivated for being in captivity. So it's well deserved. It's common sense. If I had to work from sunup to sundown in extreme temperatures, I'd be tired too. It's natural for your body to be tired. Many of you work 40 hours a week and tired. But just imagine if you're working from sunup to sundown, seven days a week, no days off, maybe Sunday, and under extreme inhumane treatment, you tell me if that does not tire you out, if it does not wear your body down. Just sickness. We spoke on COVID. We just got done going through a pandemic. And look how quickly that COVID took people out of here, just completely melted their body down, complete weakness. Took all the strength out of your body. So just imagine if you're being lynched. If you're watching your families being separated. Being beaten. Being ripped apart. Being treated. Being uh, eaten by dogs. And gators. And you're supposed to work. And be happy. Receiving no wages at all. And your living quarters are extremely inhumane and you expect black people to be motivated you expect black people to be excited about being slaves and when they don't move when you tell them to move well you're shiftless and lazy so just thought I'd speak on that what I really wanted to say didn't come out it took me about six takes on this video because I didn't know how to start it because it's just so much that, that I want to speak on, you know, and I'm going to be doing a video on unicorns and fairies and how even as children, we always saw Peter Pan and Tinkerbells and the fairies and the unicorns and, and for children, you know, the colors kind of draw you. You know, that's why you see in the crib of babies, you see all kind of different colors and whatnot, because, you know, they kind of um, play with the child's psyche. Well, now we see these unicorns and these fairies and these Tinkerbells have now become a reality in society. And, we're, and, and they're pushing it really hard. They were preparing the minds of the children for today. But I'll speak on that in another video. So what do you guys think of uh, black Americans being referred to as shiftless and lazy? When there are so many other whites 
and the illegal immigrants. That's lazy because they're getting fed by the government. They have government housing. They have government health care. So who would be motivated to work if they're getting everything that they need? Who would be motivated? If the government stopped giving people things for free, then you'll see more black people working. But until that point, you have no right to call anyone shiftless or lazy or slothful. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.